little illustration for you. I didn't hand them out yet because I didn't want you to start drawing anything on. <laughs> so I'm going to start passing these out now so that, um, well, I'll keep one. I'll okay. keep the original. Okay. Um, but first I'm going to share with you how to um, cut your paper or tear it so that you can have a deckled edge. Several people asked me how to do that, so I thought I might as well show the whole group how I do it. There's probably a dozen ways to, to go about it. You all have this um, illustration, very basic, um, but before we begin that, we want to talk about the paper. Now, I'm going to be using the 140-pound cold press paper. I prefer that to the hot press. I'm not fond of the hot press paper. Um, I like the absorption that you can get with, with the 140. Um, so, before I begin cutting up my paper, I check to see where the watermark is. And to do that, you need to lift your paper up. In any paper, it says Saunders Waterford, and I can read it correctly up in the light. It'll say Windsor Newton, it'll say Kilimanjaro, it'll say Arches, but it'll always have the name of the paper on there. And when you can read it correctly and not backwards, that is the top of the paper. Okay, so before I do anything, I take a pencil and I put a little X in each corner. Every, each one of the four corners. Because then no matter how I cut it up, I'll know that that's the top of the paper. So that's that little bit of a, a little bit of a heads up for you. So I take my paper and I just lay it down on a flat surface. I put my arm here and then I just take my fingernail and I just really kind of flatten that out. After I do that, I take a flat brush. I want to make sure I don't have any paint on it. And I run a little bit of water along that edge. Now sometimes I just cut it because I know I don't need a deckled edge and I'm just going to be putting that underneath a mat. But if I want to have an edge that I can just use a float frame for, then I like to create the deckled edge. I turn that over. I really pinch that down again with my fingernail. I run some more water over that. Right along that edge. Sometimes I just lick it. I really do. I just lick it. And that works pretty good too. I'm going to fold it back again. Now I'm going to tear it. Now well, how I like to do it, I like to put it on the straight edge of the table, put my whole arm down on it to hold it so it doesn't go out of position. I started a little bit right here, and then I just rip it down. And rip it straight up. And there you've got your deckle wedge mm -hmm. on both sheets. This is Christine, so she got a little bit of a head start with hers. <laughs>